The woolly mammoth roamed the planet right up until 4,000 years ago. There are many theories on how they became extinct, and scientists have been arguing over the true reason for years. But what actually wiped out these magnificent Ice Age giants is still one of planet Earth's big mysteries. Some scientists argue that it was climate change, disease, habitat loss, a meteor impact, or even humans that caused their demise. However, it is more likely that these mighty creatures were already dwindling in numbers due to climate change, and humans merely finished the species off, using the beasts' bones and tusks for making art, tools, food, and dwellings. The woolly mammoth is probably the best known of any prehistoric animal, and this is mainly due to the amount of frozen carcasses that have been regularly discovered over hundreds of years. Contained within these frozen specimens is the existence of preserved soft tissue remains, which scientists have said may be used to recreate the extinct beast one day. In 2013, for example, a specimen dating back 40,000 years with most of its body, head and three legs was discovered. But most surprisingly was that the carcass also contained thick oozing blood. Discovering frozen woolly mammoth carcasses like this may one day allow scientists to bring back the extinct monster, and there are several ways where this can be achieved. One possible way might be to clone the creature by replacing the DNA containing nucleus of a female elephant with the DNA of a woolly mammoth, stimulating the cell to divide and then inserting it back into the female elephant, resulting in a calf that had the genes of a woolly mammoth. However, most intact mammoth carcasses have had little usable DNA because of their conditions of preservation, so bringing back the creature this way would be very difficult. But there is another method that scientists are currently attempting, which is to use a tool known as CRISPR to splice a handful of mammoth genes into Asian elephant cells, instead of trying to create a 100% authentic version of the creature. By using this genetic cut and paste tool, scientists can create a hybrid mammoth, which would include the genes for the ears, subcutaneous fat and hair abilities. If the process is ever successful, the resulting creature would look, behave and be able to adapt to the cold environment much like an authentic woolly mammoth. But whenever the subject of resurrecting any extinct creature comes up, there is one question that always pops into people's minds, and that is, should we play God? If one day, for example, we are able to visit a thriving herd of woolly mammoths in their wild environments, then you might think recreating the beast is a good idea. However, we live in a world that has changed since the woolly mammoth first roamed the planet 200,000 years ago, so reintroducing them back into the wild might prove difficult. And if the modern mammoths need constant human care, then the giant Ice Age creatures might have to live out their days in captivity, which some might say is a cruel ending to the truly remarkable story of resurrecting the woolly mammoth. So what do you think? Should we bring back the mighty woolly mammoth? Would you buy a ticket to Woolly Mammoth World? Or should we just visit their bones in the museum? Let me know in the comments section below. I really hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.